Part 3 of Assignment 3.3, Sam Marsh. Warming up involves a performer stretching off and practicing game techniques a few moments before the match starts. It allows the performer to mentally prepare themselves for the game, such as taking the last few shots against goalkeeper and football, allowing them to believe that they are capable of scoring goals and increasing the likelihood of them repeating those shots within the same amount of confidence in the game, thus decreasing uh, stress and anxiety. Having a selective attention to the relevant cues allows an athlete to experience peak flow arousal, otherwise known as being in the zone. It allows them to only focus on things that are concerned themselves within the game, such as tennis player Andy Murray only focusing on the shots he is receiving and how he can better his game to return them to and increase the chance of scoring a point. Using imagery to view what you are doing in action, uh, viewing yourself doing an action that will occur in the sport is a great way of positive mental reinforcement. It will decrease heart rate as the performance can view the actions they need to do, almost act acting as a motivation as they will believe they can do it and all also think they have already done it due to it being pictured out. It will provide the muscles with enough oxygen for optimal performance, reducing anxiety. Biofeedback is, using, is used to control breathing rate in relation to heart rate. It is where you connect yourself with your electrical sensors, helping you receive the information from external stimuli to better your performance. It allows the performers to be taught, explaining how they should respond to anxiety given to them in sporting situations such as boxes, boxes needing to get over to the fear of being badly damaged from punches to the body and the head in order to better their opponent and counter him without closing their eyes, for example. Finally, meditating, meditating involves an athlete stopping anything they're doing to remain still, shutting their eyes and reflecting on what is going to happen in their sport or what has happened so they can internally feed back what went well and what went wrong. This can be particularly useful to decrease breathing rate and heart rate and provide the muscles with optimal arousal an optimum amount of oxygen for events including minor movements for events including minor movements such as snooker where lower heart rates are usually better. Despite there being a wide variety of useful, useful anxiety management techniques, a criticism of them is that many of them are not practical during sporting or exercise during sport or exercise. It is highly unlikely a footballer will begin to meditate during the middle of a football game because they have experienced a catastrophe in missing an easy shot that could have scored a goal for the team. Also, many of them, such as by feedback and practice, and practice require equipment, so a cost factor that may be present for certain performers who cannot afford the equip equipment to better their performance may hinder them. They take a lot of time to perform, so many argue that some of them will be, are unlikely to manage anxiety in the short term, but do instead in the long run, in the long run, such as biofeedback. Stress, according to Helpline, a help guide by Jan Sagel, PhD, Belinda Smith, MA, at Al, in November 2018, is your body's way of responding to any kind of de demand or threat through a process of fight, where you tackle the stressor, or flight, where you will turn away from the situation and run. It is produced by a perceived psychological or physiological force, otherwise known as a stressor. This will occur when there is an imbalance in, persons, in a person's perception of how intense and hard the situation is and whether they believe they can meet the demand. The stressor is the environment your body is placed in that causes a stress response, which is the uh, physiological changes that occur due to stress. The extent of how badly we get stressed is determined by the stress experience, which is the way we perceive the situation via a mixture of internal and external factors, such as the perception one may, uh, one may not have the ability to match the demand, such as a swimmer racing against other swimmers who are much faster than him, resulting in him feeling anxiety and therefore stressed. A common misconception is that stress is always negative. Similar to anxiety, stress is two different types, eustress, which is known to be the positive stress, and distress, which is the negative, more commonly known side. Eustress, as Marion Webster, is a positive form of stress having a beneficial effect on health, motivation, performance and emotional well-being. It is an athlete's cognitive response to stress, with a sense of achievement and fulfilment once this eustress has been relieved, such as winning a trophy, beating a personal event, beating a personal best or overcoming a challenge. Some athletes stimulate their body by putting themselves through intense situations, allowing them to increase overall sport performance, building their eustress. Cristiano Ronaldo often experiences stressful situations in his training. Despite the fact that he is now old, 
in that he is now old for a football player, he is constantly increasing the intensity and length of his personal training sessions in order to maintain sporting performance. When this increase in intensity aids him on the pitch, i.e. developing his leg his uh, leg strength to increase shot power, jumping capability and speed, he may experience use stress due to an increase in goals score scored from headers where his jumping uh, increase has aided him. In order for use stress to benefit performance, it has to follow some steps. Firstly, there must be the demand from the situation. This can be anywhere to a football match to the one fi to a final in the 100 meter sprint in the athletics. Next, the performer will analyse the perception of, perception of demand. If they have a positive perception and feel challenged by their demand, their arousal levels will increase. This causes you stress in the body as, as it is viewed as a challenge, increasing motivation and energy for adrenaline. This increases performance and will enable the athlete to perform the highest level in their event and have bigger, bigger rewards if they perform well. Distress is the negative feelings we associate with stress. It is a pain or suffering affecting the body, a bodily part, or the mind, according to Marianne Webster. It is often experienced when a cognitive and somatic anxiety build up, leading to, a, leading to a catastrophe, according to the catastrophe theory. During sport, an athlete's arousal may hinder their performance as they struggle to meet and cope with the demands of their sport. John Terry missed a penalty in the Champions League final to win his boyhood team the best trophy a footballing team can achieve. The pressure of the occasion triggered his distress with him. He began to think about the situation too much, causing his brain to suffer and focus too much on the penalty technique. He slipped over, missing the penalty in front of millions of watching, in which they lost a shootout because of him. His stress overcame his natural and calm attitude, resulting in a dramatic decrease in his performance. Similar to you stress, de-stress, the distress must follow stages to occur. Likewise to you stress, first is demand, such as the Olympic game final in boxing. Secondly, the participant assesses the perception of demand. However, this time the perception is viewed as negative and as a threat. This increases our arousal level too. However, as it is a negative perception, distress will occur rather than eustress as the performer begins to worry. This causes a reduction in sporting performance and hinders the cl client's game as they feel threatened by the experience and may not want to participate in as much. Many internal factors can cause stress on the body. Infer internal factors are those that come from within the body, such as illnesses affecting such as illnesses affecting ability to perform, lacking in sleep, something that potentially may be worrying you, and being overly self-critical. If Adam Peaty were suffering from a chest infection and had to compete in a serious swimming competition, he would develop distress. This is due to his respiratory system, system especially his lungs, failing to maintain the rate, breathing rate and inspiration levels needs, needed to provide his muscles with enough oxyhemoglobin to compete. This will develop his distress as he knows he will not be able to win when ultimately he should be as he is the best breaststroker swimmer in the world. External factors are ones that occur outside of the body, such as the direct environment, negative social interactions, travelling issues and major life events, in which all in which can all cause distress in the body and its performance. Ronnie O'Sullivan may experience distress during a snooker match if the indirect environment is too loud. He will not be able to focus and as a result his shot may be off, causing him to lose the match. On top of this, many, many people experience distress because of the occupation of the sport. This involves potentially arguing with teammates, your manager and coach, or even a referee. In addition, it also involves being dropped from the first team and not performing to the best of your ability. Personal influences on stress are caused by those significant in our lives. This can be arguing with a friend or a family or experience a death within the family. Brighton footballer Anthony Knockhart lost his father to death in Brighton's first year within the Premier League, resulting in him having distress. This led to his performances significantly decrease, being a shadow of, of his former self. Finally, there is, a sport, there is sport as a source of, of stress. This involves the level of significance to the individual performer and also the uncertainty that the sporting activity in the, within the sporting activity. Lionel Messi may have one of, may have a build up of stress if the match is significant, such as a match against rivals Real Madrid, or another tough opponent, and if he feels Barcelona can't win it. Stress can cause many symptoms to occur on the body, occurring to the general due to the general adaption syndrome. syndrome proposed by Sale in 1956. This demonstrates how our body responds to stress containing three stages. 
The first is the alarm reaction, involving the initial fight or flight react a response, causing the sympathetic nervous system to become stimulated as the body feels threatened and is ready to meet the f ready to meet the threat through fight or run away through flight. Secondly is resistance. This is where the parasympathetic nervous system attempts to return the physio physiological functions back to normal, fighting against the body's focusing on the stressor, remaining alerted. Finally is exhaustion, where the stress has breached the body's capacity and become exhausted. This exposes it to illness and weakness. When the sympathetic nervous system is stimulated, it creates the following psychological occurrences, which can both uh, psychological and physi physiological occurrences, which can both uh, which can benefit performers such as Mo Farah in the 5,000 meters and 10,000 meter race. His heart rate will increase to enable more blood to be sent to his working muscles, enabling them to aerobically respire. This is done via an increase in the SO node beat allowing an increase in electrical impulses stimulating the heart, therefore heightening his heart rate. This provides his body with more oxyhemoglobin for aerobic respiration for a longer period of time at a sufficient rate to beat his competition. His breathing rate will also increase so the body can receive more oxygen to be delivered to the working muscles. As inspiratory speed and depth increases, the body is able to send more oxygen to the muscles via an increase in heart rate but also remove Farah's waste products faster, such as CO2, so he can perform for longer without experience of fatigue. These muscular contractions fueled by the increase in oxygen through the Krebs cycle create heat due to the exothermic chemical reactions, giving off heat to the surroundings. They create T ATP and create movement. This increase in ATP actually allow Farah to run for a mus to complete the muscular contractions necessary to move his limbs at a sufficient rate to make him run as fast as possible and beat the competition. Adrenaline will increase from the hypothalamus to stimulate the SA node, allowing an increase in heart rate as the body prefers to fight or flight from the stressor. The adrenaline increase will travel to the SA node via the bloodstream, increasing the heart rate, therefore increasing oxygen sent around the body. Muscle tension will increase as his body becomes stressed and nervous from the stressor, his competition, causing his performance to potentially decrease as the body is tight but ready for movement. As increase in metabolism means that food consumed is broken down faster, allowing in the body a more immediate energy source of movement when the flight or fight reaction occurs. In Farah's case, his carbohydrates are broken down from the internal stores more sufficiently, so he can continue to run and contract his muscles without getting tired due to the long sustained energy being provided by the carbohydrates. Furthermore, the blood is diverted to the muscles across the body that require CO uh, oxygen, meaning that his muscles will always have enough O2 to respire and cause maximal movement to occur, whilst taking out a much, as much carbon dioxide as possible to reduce fatigue. When the parasympathetic nervous system is stimulated, it allows the body to relax after the initial increase from the sympathetic nervous system. In Farah's case, it is used so he doesn't become over-aroused and stimulated from his environment, decreasing the likelihood of catastrophe and general decrease in his performance. The fact that the parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system has become stimulated, it decreases overall muscle tension. This can be beneficial for Farah as it enables him to run at ease over the 5,000 to 10,000 meter race, providing extra flexibility to stretch his legs and cover as much ground as possible. It decreases his body temperature, meaning that the chemical reactions within him such as the creation of ATP from ADP, can work properly at the correct temperature without suffering a decrease in occurrences. This, this will provide Farah with a sufficient amount of phosphate to continually break the ATP and carry on moving. After the race, it increases digestion rate, rate, which is the rate in which food is broken down into energy stores, so these foods can be stored faster in the liver, etc. for when they're needed in a future race of his, enabling a constant flow of energy when necessary to outrun his opponents. It slows down the metabolism, which is the rate in which these energy stores are broken down to create uh, ATP and energy, so that stored energy isn't used as fast and reserved for when Farah needs them. It promotes saliva production, so Farah is inclined to recharge his bodily fluids so all the necessary functions can occur and so his body can receive the correct nutrients. Furthermore, because of the parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, his heart rate and breathing rate decreases. Whilst Farah will want these to be high during the race so his body can receive enough oxygen for peak performance and also to uh, remove all the waste products, having a low heart rate and breathing rate decreases his stroke volume, meaning he'll be more relaxed in the sporting situation and will not, uh, not risk becoming over-aroused and potentially causing a catastrophe in his technique or falling over.